It's interesting to me, and here's my prediction. I think the so-called establishment, I think they're going to eventually rally around one establishment candidate and hope that the conservative voters split her off into different candidates. And ultimately, they will plot, they will plan, they will scheme to destroy the conservative in this race. Now, we could look at Thad Cochran and that whole issue that took place in, in Mississippi. Uh, you had leaders of the, the House and Senate bragging about the 2014 elections and how they beat the Tea Party. Who do you think wins this battle in the end? Well, we better win the battle or we're going to lose the country. Uh, the, the Republican establishment, other than uh, two terms of Ronald Reagan, has had its way with the Republican Party. Look, the Republican Party, I'm a member, it doesn't represent me. I don't know what it represents. It doesn't know what it represents. Look, a few years ago, we had another guy stand up who was courageous, who was fresh. Ted Cruz in the United States Senate two years ago, he said, OK, we campaigned to defund Obamacare, then let's do it. And what happened? He was slammed. He was smeared by the Republican establishment, by so-called leaders in Congress, by their surrogates in the meter. In the media, if it wasn't Trump, it would be Cruz they attacked. If it wasn't Cruz, it would be Walker. It would be somebody else. We know who they want. And the guy that they want is not the guy that's going to be the person who I think can get elected president of the United States. He doesn't even act like Jeb, like he wants to be president. So how do, so he I, seems to go through the motions. He talks into his chest. I don't know where the guy is going. So you got Trump, you got Cruz, you got Walker, you have Ben Carson, four insurgent candidates that are doing pretty well by every objective standard if you put their numbers together. So what is the strategy that will be employed by the big money, for example, that part of the Republican Party that doesn't want to build the wall because they want cheap labor? So what is their strategy to defeat the insurgency? By the way, you know it's amazing to me. Barack Obama goes on, he comes into the presidency, he talks about, you know, uh, these jobs he's going to create, an infrastructure, and they, they blow $800 billion. We have nothing to show for it. So now we want to build a wall on the southern border to protect America's sovereignty, to protect us from drug cartels, to protect us from terrorists and so forth, so we can actually manage a legal immigration system. And what do they say? It's too expensive. It's too complicated. The American people are, are sick of this. As for the uh, Republican establishment, I detest them more than I detest the Democrats, and I'm going to tell you why. If they had had their way, Ronald Reagan would never have been president. He would, have, would never have had a chance to win two massive landslides. We have got to bust through this Republican establishment, their donors, their consultants, their media surrogates. We're going to have to bust through them to give people an opportunity to actually vote for a conservative for right. president of the United States. And if you're under 45, I've said this many times, You've never had the chance. It's inspiring. It's, it's invigorating. It's exciting. For the we first need time. to have the difference between a conservative, a principled, articulate conservative, and one of the left-wing kooks who's running in the Democrat Party. Let me